Squirrel and Mole were inseparable friends who shared everything, including food and drink. They enjoyed a variety of activities together, such as dancing, cooking, showcasing their talents, riding bicycles, and most importantly, painting. One day, they decided to have a picnic. Squirrel wanted to have the perfect picnic, so they made sure to avoid putting butter on the sandwiches, as it doesn't taste good. Mole agreed, even though they secretly loved butter on their sandwiches. After a lot of preparation, everything was ready. They packed everything into the picnic basket and set off. Don't worry, Mole, said Squirrel. Just follow me and we'll find the perfect picnic spot for both of us. You're right, Squirrel, said Mole, following his dear friend. Mole pointed to a beautiful meadow. Squirrel shook her head and said, It's not perfect, there's no shade. You're right, Squirrel, said Mole, following his dear friend. Mole then pointed to a nearby field with shade. Squirrel spread her arms and said, Yes, but it's too shaded here. Mole asked, What about this place? Squirrel replied, No, it's too crowded. You're right, Squirrel, said Mole, following his dear friend. Mole then pointed to a spot where nobody was around. Squirrel's fur fluttered as she said, Yes, but it's too windy here. The two friends explored various places, walking for what seemed like hours. They encountered a stream, but it was too wet for their liking. They entered a cave, but it was too dark and damp. They even reached a beach, but it was too sandy. Finally, Squirrel stopped and joyfully raised her tail in the air. I found it, Mole, she said. This is the most beautiful and perfect picnic spot. Mole was exhausted and noticed something unpleasant. During their journey to find the perfect picnic spot, they lost most of their supplies. Squirrel exclaimed in dismay. This is the worst picnic ever, she exclaimed. Excuse me, said a soft voice. I believe this is your cake, said Mouse. And these must be your apples, said Otter. I found your picnic blanket, said Bat. I have your sandwiches, said Seagull. We found the crackers, said Pigeon. Here are the plates, said Crow. Did anyone lose a teacup and a thermos, inquired Rabbit. The apples were bruised, the cake was squished, the edges of the plates were chipped, and the forks and napkins were crumpled. The blanket was dusty, the sandwiches were sandy, and only a single cracker remained. Mole placed his hand on Squirrel's shoulder and reassured him, saying, Don't worry, Squirrel. We can handle this. There is no doubt that this was not the perfect picnic that Squirrel had envisioned. However, it was still enjoyable. Squirrel said, I'm already looking forward to the next picnic. Let's not delay too much and inform our new friends in advance. Mole agreed, adding, but please, next time, let's remember to spread butter on the sandwiches. You're correct, Mole. You're correct from the ground to the sky, said Squirrel, as she followed her dear friend. 